What's up everybody? If you that don't know me, my name is Chris, aka Mr. Grubb, and I just mixed up a batch of nutrients here. Uh, this is Blue Planet Nutrient, the Blue Max two-part feed schedule. Uh, so I have it all mixed up, stirred up, and I'm uh, checking the pH at the moment. And the pH was at 5.8. That's one thing I actually like about Blue Planet Nutrients is the pH ends up being 5.8 with that if it's a half dose, which is the pH level I like to give my uh, plants growing in cocoa. But I am growing in soil this round, so I do have to increase the pH using pH up. Uh, right now I got up to 6.2 and I decided to film this video. So uh, we're gonna get it up a little bit more than that. The pH I'm using is by Blue Planet Nutrients, their pH up. I also have uh, a small cup, some RO water here. This is a uh, jug that I washed out, it used to be milk. And I have uh, one of these. What are these called again? So what you're not supposed to do is you're not supposed to take this pH up and put it directly into there. I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna do it here for example purposes. I wanna show you what happens. See that gray cloud? A little bit more. Hopefully the camera can pick it up. It's a gray cloud swirling around there. Um, so that's actually a chemical reaction happening. Um, I actually learned this from Evers Fernandez. He has a YouTube channel as well. I'm gonna actually link the video below where I learned this from. Basically, this chemical reaction is bad. Uh, this is not useful for plants. Uh, if you want that full description on why that's the case, I will link his video in the description section below. Uh, but instead of doing that, what you are supposed to do is actually dilute it first. Uh, a lot of people aren't doing this, uh, I noticed, so I figured I'd make a quick video on how to dilute it. Um, so really just all you need is a small cup of water. You know, this is the size that I use, which is fine. Pour a decent amount up because you really want to, when you're diluting it, you don't want to have like a, a too small of a glass, like a small shot glass isn't really going to be enough to dilute it down. Put a little bit more in there. And I kind of just kind of guesstimate on how much I'm going to need. It really adjusts depending on how much you're trying to bring your pH up or down. Where you're supposed to um, dilute it here like I'm doing here. And then uh, from there, well actually let me get rid of this other cloud first, mix that in. What did this go up to? So that went from 6.2 up to 6.4. And now let's see if this small container that I just mixed up is going to increase it up to about 6.5 is fine if it goes up a little bit more than that i'm okay with that but uh you don't see the gray cloud oh crap i stirred it before i could show you <laughs> uh there was no gray cloud because it was diluted and uh now i am up to about 6.4 so 6.5 we'll see if that goes up any more uh, but it got me up to where i need to be but moral of the story just wanted to make a quick video today uh, urging you guys to dilute your pH up, pH down before mixing it with your nutrient solution because a chemical reaction happens and that is bad. That's pretty much it for this video guys. If you enjoyed, please click that thumbs up and I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace.